Hello ladies and gentlemen, guys and ghouls. This is Kevin here for my channel, The Art of Horror. Today I'll be doing some more subscriber suggested art, as suggested by subscriber Radioactive Warhead. Radioactive Warhead asked if I could draw him a picture of Rodan. We all know, of course, from the Godzilla movies. So I hope you don't mind Radioactive, but I thought I'd try something a bit different today and take the old VR out and give Tilt Brush a whirl. I'll be uh, picking up a more detailed sculpting program for VR in the next week or so, and I'm going to be keen to try and create some creatures within that. But Tilt Brush is the closest thing that I have to it right now. And there's something about the look of Tilt Brush as well that I uh, really enjoy using. It creates a very unique look. I am still coming to grips with this program though. There's a, a fair few things to learn, so um, please bear with me. But I think I get there in the end, so... The character of Rodan, uh, which is a mutated pterosaur, he started out in his own standalone movie, uh, Rodan in Toho's 1956 film and then was uh, later featured in the Godzilla films of course. The creators arrived at the name uh, Rodan by uh, contracting the word for Pterodon, uh, changing it to Radon, but then it was changed to Rodan for uh, the English speaking countries. As with a lot of his uh, creatures, Ken Kuranuma turned to uh, prehistoric animals for inspiration, of course, with Rodan being uh, inspired by a pteranodon. His uh, character was a uh, metaphoric embodiment of nuclear threat from the Soviet Union. I think the first time I saw uh, Rodan was in the movie uh, Destroy All Monsters which I would have watched on a uh, Saturday or Sunday afternoon as, as a uh, young boy. I had a real fascination for uh, these uh, monster movies. Watching them terrorise cities was always a treat for me as a small child. <laughs> Rodan will be making a, uh, another appearance soon in uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters coming out in 2019. And my inner child is definitely pleased to uh, see the Godzilla movies making a huge comeback over the last few years as well. So I really enjoyed uh, trying to create Rodan within um, Tilt Brush, having a mess around in VR. I especially like the lighting effects you can create, uh, creating that purple death ray. I could definitely uh, easily go overboard with the lighting effects here. Uh, and just having a mess around, I found a plane in the pre-made images, so I thought I'd throw that in there as well. So I've got Rodan attacking a jumbo jet. So whilst not my usual artwork, I do hope you uh, appreciate uh, this Go In VR radioactive, as I had a great time uh, mucking around in there. It took about two and a half hours. It's it's fairly time consuming and you get lost in there. I always feel a bit funny coming out. I don't feel any um, sickness though whilst I'm doing it or anything like that. It's just very strange uh, the feeling you get whilst you're in there. Uh, while I was doing it, I took the headset off to uh, check the recording and turned back uh, to expect to see what I just created in, in uh, my room. But of course it wasn't there. So uh, the idea that you're in an alternate reality uh, really appeals to me and it messes with your mind, something fierce. If you'd like to see me create something, uh, please feel free to suggest even the medium you'd like to see me use, as I have a fair few uh, different tools at my disposal from virtual reality to digital art to charcoals and paint and canvas and colour pencils so whatever you'd like to see your art in please feel free to throw me a challenge as always of course leave it in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please feel free to hit the like button as always if you are new to the channel and you would like to see more from me please hit that subscribe button as well this has been Kevin for The Art of Horror. You all take care for now, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.